everyone, this is Tribecast episode 7. If you would like to hear Harry, you will probably hear him in one of the coming episodes, but this week it's still Marina talking to you. And today we have Jarmo from Vison, and we're going to talk about a specific type of photography. Right, so good morning everyone. Uh, this is Tribecast, episode 7. We are still in Tampere, it's still year 2021. Nothing bad has happened, we're still allowed to record podcasts, so the life continues. My name is Marina, and there are three of us in this studio. So there is me, talking, there is Carolina, keeping an eye on what's happening with our technical side, and there is Jarmo, who will tell us one more story about what it is to be a startup person in Tampere and how does it feel nowadays. So hello everyone and thank you for listening to us. Right, hello Jarmo, thank you for being with us today here. Could you please greet our listeners and tell something about yourself? Okay, thank you Marina and thanks for for inviting me here. Uh, My name is Jarmo Tanskanen and uh, uh, my startup is Visuon. We have been working here now three and a half years. We are a software company doing the platform for 360 virtual reality contents. I always thought that the only use of 3D vision software is for different kind of games, so computer games. Prove me wrong. Yes, that's right. 3D is very interesting uh, visual thing on, on, on computers and, and these kind of things are used in games since the beginning of the game era in computers. You can uh, travel through the 3D worlds, of course. So 3D is used for describing these worlds in virtually that you can have very kind of fantasy worlds and so on. Uh, but In our company, in our startup, we are focusing on 360 photography. And in in photography-based contents can be made on our system and our platform. So so we are focusing mainly on on the training and familiarizations, what are done in the companies or organizations. So so, uh, that can be more or less serious gaming because if you think about that you are uh, making some contents for for trading purposes so uh, we can add some gamification elements on the content and then you can have a more or less small game but it's not compared to to hollywood level or silicon valley level of of gaming industry or games in that sense so we are not a game company. Okay, so as much as you're comfortable, because there can be some business secret, how would you describe uh, your customers? What kind of companies or what kind of um, maybe individuals would buy your product? Yes, uh, we are we are focusing on the on the on industry and and healthcare area. Uh, so so there are industrial companies which are doing some kind of felt services. And these felt services are, you can consider that maintaining uh, environments, cleaning environments uh, where cleaners are doing their job and and technicians are doing their job uh, maintaining the machinery or, or environments for the buildings, for example, or in factories. There are full of machines producing some goods and, and some, for example, metal industry and so. But anyway, uh, maintenance tasks are repetitive tasks in many cases. And for example, in maintenance tasks, this uh, employee, uh, employee and labor force are changing and, and new employees are coming and technology is changing also. So maintenance tasks are also changing. So why not to put the familiarization and training for new people in such a way that you can have very good visualizations 
uh, using 360 virtual reality and uh, putting all the detailed information on those photos so that you can have the very authentic content for trainings. So people can see the environment where they will be working on and then they can have the detailed information about that, the, what, what should be do next and, and then what is the step after that. So instead of when a new person comes or a new technology appears, instead of having physical person and physical machine interacting, uh, you have a physical person interacting with a 360 degrees photo. Yes, yes, that's right. Okay, and I understand the machine part, and that's that probably saves companies a lot of money and effort, and also it's safe in case if machine has um, any possibility of traumatizing a worker, if that's something big and heavy and... You know, you can have some kind of, I don't know, break a finger or something if you do something wrong. Um, how can your um, product be implemented in medicine? Is it like uh, photos of, uh, I don't know, sick organs and doctors can somehow train on that? Or what are the possibilities there? Now we have, uh, we have uh, done pilot projects because we are in the beginning phase but we are looking for the good uh, business model for that also so that we have uh, done pilot projects for example uh, in hospital Helsinki area so uh, and uh, they are working on the maintenance it means uh, cleaning the patient rooms for example cleaning lobbies cleaning corridors but also all the surgery rooms as well, when, when doctors are doing surgeries and so on. They are interested in that, that how to explain all the new employees how to do these cleaning tasks in, in, in certain order. Because there is this kind of term aseptic order for cleaning tasks. And new employees, also older employees as well, they have to be very careful to do the uh, tasks in certain order that this kind of uh, purity level can be maintained in, on, in these places. Because in hospital area, you understand that there this can be... This is very important. Yes, it is very important because nowadays it, it, this is corona situation <laughs> going on. And we are in some places, we are in lockdowns. And, but of course, this cleaning should be done. And the problems there are that employees, sometimes they don't understand how important it is. And uh, then the guidance and instructions are more and more important so that these supervisors should always be interested in that are my employees doing their job well or are there any improvements I can find. And then I need to uh, do more instructions, more guidelines. And I have heard that almost every week some kind of guidelines are changing because that kind of places are also under development all the time. How to do these healthcare tasks more efficiently and better ways. So this, uh, there is a huge need and also one challenge is that employees in maintenance tasks are coming from various places. For example, in hospital Helsinki area, there are 4,000 people working in hospitals in these buildings, what are scattered all over the southern part of Finland. And there are over 30 languages which are spoken in this group of people. So this group of people are working for cleanings. So guidelines and instructions are on paper now how to maintain and keep good quality for the guides and tutorials for this kind of group of people so visuality and visualizations can be improved this situation quite good way and where do you get the photos from do you somehow come to hospital and then it's like I'm absolutely not a technical person for me any kind of IT stuff is you know I know how to switch on the laptop that's that's my level I and I know a thing or two about sound editing but everything else is very very different field so uh how does if 
if you can explain for people who got curious, me included, how does the process go? So you come, for example, to a hospital, you, you make a contract with the hospital that they want to do the training with your product, mm-hmm. uh, and you come to like a surgery room and take photos, or how how does it happen? Yeah, yes, yes. Um, as I said, uh, we are looking for the good business model for this mm-hmm. because that is the job for the startup. Mm-hmm. The, char- the startup should learn what what is the business model for mm-hmm. this idea in startup. Our hypothesis is that our customers can do and, and can produce the photos by themselves. 360 photo is quite large photo compared to the ordinary photo. Mm-hmm. You can use your Uh, mobile phone to take photos, mm-hmm. ordinary photos, but t- in three si- 360 photos you can you can do as well. But maybe the mobile phone is not the best one. So you can buy the special 360 camera for that. And thanks to technology development, we have very quite good cameras already, which are reason- in reasonable price, and uh, you can buy that that kind of camera for yourself and uh, put it on the tripod and then put it into the, into the room and then you can take the photo at once. So you can have your photos on your desktop computer or, or in, into your laptop. Then you can upload your photos into our software platform according to this business model. And then when you have uh, these photos, it's easy to add more contents on top of photos we call the information as active points and behind active points you can add detailed information but if you would like to do in that way that you can order for example in this phase we can take photos you can order we can set up the small project and we can take the photos or there are professional photographers in finland in different cities And also over the world, there are 360 photographers. Thanks to Google Street View, uh, you can find list of these photographers from the Google Street View website. And uh, then you can order this kind of professional guy to take photos for you. So photos are not a problem. The problem is that to have good detailed instructions on the photos, but it's your job, not ours. <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, I know that today after we finish this interview, in a while you'll be also participating in some kind of a video shooting here at P6. Yes, we have. Uh, fortunately, the same day we have. <laughs> so I'm visiting here in Platform 6, but we are also member here in Platform 6. And, and it, uh, it was my pleasure to, to participate in this podcast and also video shooting as well. So we have a video shooting uh, later. And I hope that we can have a good five minutes pitching video or introduction video for for our for our startup, and we can use it for the marketing as as well. Uh, but uh, the main goal is introduction of the startups who are at P6, right? I think so. Yes, it is. So it is not uh, investor-like video, but mainly focusing on the give an introduction to the startup and explain what, what is all about in, in that particular st- startup. And we would like to have it for our marketing as well, of course. Marketing never harms. I have probably one last question, and it's a bit of a worn out, but still, what are your, as a startup, feelings about corona situation? Okay, corona is uh, very serious. Corona is affecting our startup in that way that that customers are postponing their decisions mm-hmm. because corona is locking down the spaces but as i said they should go to the places and take photos now they cannot go to the different places or different cities traveling is uh, limited in somehow so that is the problem they are postponing their decisions postponing their work and project work a little bit So that is affecting to our startup and uh, a little bit, but not not much uh, thanks to that. But um, 
we are software company, so so our coders are working at their home or in the office, so that they are not traveling, they don't need to travel anywhere. So in that sense, it doesn't affect to us so much. And one good example of uh, the traveling being limited or cancelled currently is that I'm here speaking today, though we this autumn invited a new person to the team who is doing most of the hosting. Hello, Harry. You're now in Britain and you cannot join us here today, but we really hope that we'll see you soon enough here at the premises. But for now, it's me, Marina, the founder of Tribecastria, doing the hosting for a while. So... Once again, thank you very much, Jarmar, for this interview. Now I know a bit more about 360-degree photos and how they can be implemented. Thank you very much for having time and energy for this interview. I wish you a great photo shoot. And yeah, we'll see each other at Platform 6. Thank you, Marina. And uh, if you need more information, please visit our website, which is visuon.com. Thank you very much. Thank you everybody for listening for us. This was Tribecast. My name is Marina. By the way, I would like to say happy birthday. Happy birthday, Tribecast. We're two years old. Thank you, the amazing team that we have. Thank you, Harry, Harry and Carolina and me for being here, for doing this project. Let's continue. We're doing great. And thanks to our amazing audience for listening, following, supporting, commenting. Please continue. And of course, thank you, Tribe Tamper startup community for being the supporting hand. And this is one announcement which I have to make. Another one is that I have recently started another project of my own. So if you are interested in learning more about public speaking, speaking, taking care of your voice and doing podcasts, all of that can be learned during my workshops. Please follow me on social media or check humble speech project in instagram and facebook and for now that's all it's cold and tamper so take care of yourself have a nice week and stay warm and tuned